a sunny day in Ponty Pandy. Elvis is playing on the Pac-Man machine outside the surf shack. Mike Flood is just getting his van ready and preparing all of his tools for a busy day out and about helping the people of Ponty Pandy. And Nurse Flood is talking to Dillis Price outside her shop about burns and how to treat them. Meanwhile, Naughty Norman is rolling a very large noisy barrel down the street. He thinks it's great fun. But his mum and Nurse Flood can't hear themselves speak. Oh Norman, you're being so noisy today, says his mum, Dillis Price. But Norman carries on. I can't hear myself think, Norman. I'm trying to find out how to treat burns from Nurse Flood. Will you go and play and do something more quiet? Oh, ma'am, I'm having great fun. Norman, do as you're told. OK. And with that, Norman goes into the shop to find something to play with. So Norman finds himself a magnifying glass. Dillis Price thinks that this is okay. I don't think Norman can get into much trouble with a magnifying glass. Do you, Nurse Flood? I'm sure he'll be okay, says Nurse Flood. And with that, naughty Norman races off to investigate things close up. So with that, he investigates Jupiter close up. Oh, that's good. And then Venus. Oh boy, that's great. He takes a look at Nurse Flood's medical box. And he even takes a close look at Radar. Norman is a bit bored with using the magnifying glass now. He's getting a little hungry. Hmm, what's that he can smell? He can smell burgers cooking in the air and races off to investigate what's cooking. He just drops the magnifying glass on the ground and doesn't think anything of it. That smell is coming from Elvis Cridlington's brand spanking new barbecue. He's trying it out for size and see if he can make some great burgers. Those burgers look great, says Norman. Can I have one? Elvis says, of course you can. I've made two. And the friends tuck into their delicious burgers. But Elvis says, what's that I can smell? It smells like something burning. Great fires of London, says Elvis. The magnifying glass has caught the grass on fire. That must be due to the sun's rays. Oh, Norman, we must get the fire extinguisher from the shop. Norman races into the shop and gets the fire extinguisher and hands it to Elvis Piglington. Meanwhile, Dillis Price gets straight on the phone to call Fireman Sam. The flames are spreading. Elvis can't seem to get the fire extinguisher to work. It looks like it might be faulty. Oh goodness me, they really do need fire and sound. And in the distance they can hear the sound of the sirens from Jupiter. And with that, Fireman Sam arrives in no time. Fireman Sam hops out of Jupiter, fixes up the hose and starts to put out the flames. And in a jiffy, the flames were put out. Oh, Fireman Sam, you're such a hero. Thank you so much for putting out the fire. All in a day's work, ma'am. 
But Feynman's Sam proceeds to tell Norman that you can't leave magnifying glasses lying around in the sun because they can cause fires. Well, Norman didn't know that, but he should have put the magnifying glass away. If he had done that, he wouldn't have caused a fire. Also, Fireman Sam tells Dillis that she should have had her fire extinguisher checked. It's very dangerous, don't you know, Dillis? You must have a working fire extinguisher. And with that, Dillis apologises. Come on, Norman, you're grounded for the next week. Oh, ma'am, I didn't mean it. Norman, you never mean it. Well, things seem to be getting back to normal outside Dillis Price's shop. Dillis is telling Helen Flood what a hero Fireman Sam is after putting out the magnifying glass fire. And Fireman Sam is planning with Elvis Cridlington to go back to the Ponty Pandy fire station, put their feet up and have a nice cup of tea. But then Dillis Price says, Fireman Sam, I can smell burning. It's sort of, uh, I don't know, a barbecue smell. Nurse Flood agrees that she can smell it too. Oh crikey, says Elvis Cridlington. I've left the burgers on the barbecue. And Dillis Price was right. Elvis Cridlington had left some burgers on the barbecue. He'd left them unattended and the barbecue has caught fire. And the fire has spread to the surf shack. The firefighters need to act immediately, so they both jump into Jupiter as soon as they can. And off they race. They arrive in no time and Fireman Sam starts to put out the flames. But it's a difficult fire and it's really taking hold. So they need to call for assistance. They're calling for Venus as well. Here comes Penny in Venus now. And together Penny and Fireman Sam and with a super soaking hose, they put out the flames. First the barbecue fire is out, then they put out the fire on the surf shack. All's well that ends well and Elvis Cridlington vows never to leave a barbecue unattended again. So, now they've got to think, what are we going to have for tea? And Penny says, let's have good old fashioned fish and chips. We haven't had those for a while. Mm. Goodbye. What can I have to eat? He found a hot dog store nearby and started to munch on the largest hot dog you ever did see. Ah, oh, I'm still hungry, said Norman Price to himself. I know, I'll go and find something to cook. I know, I'll have a barbecue. So Naughty Norman had the idea that he would barbecue a pumpkin. And the pumpkin got hotter and hotter. So hot that it burst into flames. Oh no, that's not supposed to happen. It's time to call Fireman Sam. Help! Help! Fireman Sam! Help! Mike Flood, Ponty Pandy's local handyman, was just passing by and he could see what Norman had done. <gasps> oh no! There's a huge fire! I need to call Fireman Sam. He'll know what to do. He'll know how to help us. But oh no! The flames began to spread. This was turning out to be a serious fire. 
Meanwhile, Station Officer Still is receiving the emergency call. Oh no, it's Norman Price and he's in trouble. He needs our help. Well done, Elvis! Here comes Elvis Cridlington in Jupiter now! Here comes Fireman Sam now. Now Norman Price, you stand well back. This is a serious fire. I'm going to ring for Tom Thomas in Wallaby too. We need his help. Elvis Cridlington is just getting into position. Elvis can put the barbecue flames out. The flames have spread to the grass. We need Tom Thomas. And here he comes now. fire out now. Stand well back everybody. Stand well back. And slowly the flames started to go out. And Elvis Cridlington, Fireman Sam and naughty Norman Price let out a huge cheer for Tom Thomas as he flew off in Wallaby 2. Be sure to like this video then guys and be sure to subscribe to the MG Tracy channel. Shortly, four boxes will appear. Tap on any of those boxes to continue watching. Thank you.